how nine bring elements affect the binding energy of the sample let's suppose we want to perform xps analysis for the sample and that sample is composed of carbon atom this is basically carbon these are basically carbon atoms binding energy basically means that how these core electrons are tightly bound to a nucleus or in other words that how much energy is required to remove these bound electron or core electrons if more energy is required so we can say that the binding energy is higher if less energy is required so we can say that the binding energy is weak so this means that they are less tightly bound now let's suppose these carbon atom basically make bond with each other so all atom have the same nature so they attract with each other or they make bond with each other with the same force so we have the binding energy the xps will give us this kind of binding energy now when we bring neighboring element here closer to a carbon atom let's suppose in this case we bring oxygen so we know that oxygen is more electronegative electronegativity means that the pulling power of electrons who attract more electrons toward itself so this means that that atom has higher electronegativity power so when we bring oxygen closer or uh, near to these carbon atoms so the electron will uh, transfer to the or uh, the, this atom will attract electrons from the carbon atoms so this means that when we remove electron from the carbon atom so the remaining electrons in the carbon atoms become more tightly bound to a nucleus so i explained many times in my post in my videos that now the remaining electrons are tightly bound so this means that now we will require high energy to remove this electron this simply means that the binding energy of the remaining electrons are higher now and we can see from this table here initially it was 285 electron volt the binding energy and now it's increasing here you see now this simply means that this neighboring elements in is more electronegative now when we bring more electronegative elements this is like fluorine here so that means that is powerful or more electronegative than oxygen so the fluorine will attract more electron from the carbon so this means that the, the, this, this, the, this means that the binding energy of the remaining electrons will get higher and higher and all this information we get from XPS because this is XPS analysis the graph here, here on X axis we have the binding energy and the Y axis we have number of electrons counts so this simply means that the, when we bring here the, 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 this is for example from 0 to 1400 electron volt right so this means that this this peak carbon peak is here so when we bring here the oxygen or fluorine closer to the carbon so the peak will shift toward the uh, higher binding energy this is the, the whole story is basically this is like this, this this is similar like the oxidation state i explained in the video the oxidation state also with the hydro the, 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 these two uh, processes are exactly the same here so now when we bring more electronegative elements so this means that that the binding energy will increases if we bring less electronegative element than carbon so the binding energy will decreases here so this is how the neighboring the surrounding elements affect very change the binding energy of the sample or we can say this in this case the carbon uh, elements